Hi, this is Jerry Smith, Viper Sales Engineer at ThreatTrack Security, and in today's video, we're going to discuss agent policy configuration for Windows computers. Well, what does that mean? Well, the agent policy is what dictates how the Viper agent will run, which features are enabled, and what kind of user interaction will be allowed by the administrator. Let's take a look at the console. Viper comes with some default policies that are already built in for you. And it's a good idea to use them as templates from which you can create your own policies. There are some basic configurations and exclusions built into those policies that can really come in handy for you. And right over here on the left-hand side, of course, of the Viper Management Console, in our Site Navigator, we can see our agent policies. And I want to point out here real quickly before we go further that I can actually copy, delete, export policies. Um, I can also even create new policies from here as well by clicking Add Policy or click the Add Policy policy button here. Once I've got the policies created, I can modify them and uh, I've got a couple of policies already set up here for you to show you. In this workstation policy that I've created, I've got some parameters already set up here. So as you can see, we've got some user interaction parameters. I can protect the agent by hiding it or with a password. I can dictate how often the agent will receive updates and how it gets those updates. And I can also configure different communication variables here as well. For instance, whether or not I have different policy and update servers. I can also configure my scanning settings here. Right? I have a deep scan, a custom scan, and a quick scan that I can configure here. I can also configure active protection settings here as well as email protection settings and I can also configure my remediation settings. By default everything is set to quarantine with the exception of cookies and commercial remote control tools. Under exceptions I can actually block some things and I can add in some exclusions if I like. Under email alerts I can add in the recipient of email alerts from Viper. I can also have a list of allowed threats here. I can enable my web filter and malicious URL blocking. I can block sites if I like. I can turn on the firewall and I can actually allow end users to work with the firewall here as well. And I can do some advanced configuration. And finally, I can actually do some patch management configuration here as well. Now, if you have any questions, or need any assistance, please do feel free to contact our technical support team right here in Clearwater, Florida, anytime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope that you enjoy Viper and have a super fantastic day.